When you've got that new amateur radio license, the most exciting thing is having that first QSO. And a great place to start would be with a simplex QSO on FM, perhaps on a handheld. So we're going to do that, Greg, and we're going to do it on two meters and just show everybody the basic route through having a simple FM simplex QSO. Yeah, absolutely. So where do we start? Well, we start by tuning to the calling frequency, which on two meters is 145.500, 145.5 megahertz. Uh, and we'll go on there and call CQ, which is asking for someone else to respond to us. And what do we mean by the calling frequency? The calling frequency is where people will listen, expecting other radio users to transmit and ask for to make contact. And I'd imagine that as the channel is used for calling, there shouldn't be too much activity on there in the sense that once people have hooked up, got somebody to have a QSO with, they're going to move off to another channel. So rustle up some activity. This is Mike Zero, Oscar Delta Zulu. Mike Zero, Oscar Delta Zulu, calling CQ and standing by. Mike Zero, Whiskey Uniform Tango. Mike Zero, Whiskey Uniform Tango. This is Mike Zero, Oscar Delta Zulu. Please stand by while I find a free frequency. So what you're going to do is check that the channel you want to move to is also clear and then you'll go back to him and tell him where to move to. Yeah, he'll stay on the calling frequency until I return. So I shall go and find a free frequency. This is Mike Zero, Oscar Delta Zulu. Is this frequency in use, please? Now we'll just wait for a few seconds to see if we hear anything. And nothing heard, so we'll go back to the calling frequency. This is Mike Zero, Oscar Delta Zulu for Mike Zero, Whiskey Uniform Tango. Would you please QSY to 145525? Roger, QSY 145.525. That's great, so he knows now which channel you're going to actually go and have your conversation on. The frequency in use, please, is the frequency in use. Ah, so he's checking as well from his end to make sure that nobody in range of him is already having a conversation on this channel. That's correct, so I'll respond and say I've heard nothing. This is Mike Zero, Oscar Delta Zulu. Nothing heard my end. Back to you. Mike Zero, Oscar Delta Zulu from Mike Zero Whiskey Uniform Tango. Nothing heard here either. Mike Zero, Whiskey Uniform Tango. The name this end is Greg. Greg, Golf Roger Echo Golf. The equipment this end is a Baofeng UV5R uh, running on the lowest power setting. Yeah, Roger, Greg. Thank you very much for all, for all the information. And uh, I'm going to say thank you for the contact and 73, Mike Zero, Whiskey Uniform Tango, back to you for finals. Mike Zero, Whiskey Uniform Tango from Mike Zero, Oscar Delta Zulu. Thank you so much for taking the time to have the QSO with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. 73, this is Mike Zero, Oscar Delta Zulu, clearing the frequency. So that was interesting, following the etiquette through, because also at the end there, you made it quite clear to any other users of that channel that you had both finished and that channel was now free to be used again. Um, you may find someone else might want to come in and have another chat. Uh, he would have come in in the slight pause after doing 7-3 and before the clearing the frequency. So if somebody went, oh, that's Greg, I haven't spoken to him for ages, they could have joined us actually. So you can build up quite a net uh, of any number of people who could join in just by calling in when there's a gap and waiting till they're acknowledged. But then it does get a little bit more complicated in the etiquette of passing it around between the stations. But that's all part of the fun. So there we are. That's our first simplex QSO. And of course, your next stage after that would probably be to try a QSO through a repeater, where the principles are going to be basically the same, uh, except one thing to remember is you don't call CQ through a repeater. You just put your call sign and then you listen and see if anybody calls you. But after that, I think the procedure for the QSO is going to be the same, except you haven't got to check other frequencies because you're going to have your QSO entirely on the repeater channel.